Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Markets are pretty quiet overnight. Beans are a little bit lower. Corn's unchanged and wheat's a little bit higher. Outside markets, you got the dollar higher and crude higher. Uh, for the week, wheat prices are up uh, marginally. Corn's up two cents, beans up 10 cents. And um, when we look back at the week, we kind of look at number one, um, some buying in the beans up to close to $10 on hopes that on November 9th, the USDA is going to lower the US soybean crop and that uh, we'll be watching South American weather and see if we need to put any more premium in the marketplace. There was a report overnight that Brazil continues to be an active seller of beans to the Chinese and that uh, that could cut into U.S. exports and that could limit the upside in prices. Over in the corn and wheat market, we tested new lows and we kind of bounced off those lows. Some people call it technical buying either in front of the weekend or uh, maybe in front of the report. So far, we're hearing the opposite in corn. The yields are much better than the farmers had anticipated. And on November 9th, the USGA could raise uh, the corn crop number. We're wondering, though, <clears throat> if that's already in the marketplace. Still, on report day, the high-frequency trading machines could sell the market if the yield comes out higher than expected. Um, down in South America, the weather looks to be improving with rains in the north, a little bit drier conditions in southern Brazil, and hopefully next week, drier conditions in Argentina. There was a report out that um, Russia is going to harvest a record crop this year. Uh, they're going to export a record amount <clears throat> of grain, and they continue to try to move things along logistically and infrastructurally to uh, export more. And that, that runs into, uh, first of all, our wheat export demand, and also secondly, maybe down the road, our feed grain demand. As far as the Midwest is concerned, we've got some rains this weekend across the Midwest. Um, our weather guy put out a little special today talking about how for the month of November, it's going to be very La Nina-ish in here in, in the United States. Cold temperatures across the northern third of the country, warm temperatures across the southern third. And as far as precip is concerned, mostly normal across the uh, northern half of the country and, and below normal in the southern half of the country. So Florida looks good right now. As far as South America is concerned, temperature-wise, um, pretty much normal. Maybe a little bit below normal temperatures for Brazil and maybe above normal temperatures for Argentina. And as far as precip is concerned, mostly above normal precip for Brazil and near normal for Argentina. So that's a very La Nina-ish type forecast. As far as the market is concerned, technically, we've got 980 support in the, in the January beans. Obviously, ten dollar, ten oh four is resistance. December corn supports at three forty two, resistance at three sixty two, and December wheat four twenty uh, support four thirty resistance. If you're looking at uh, eighteen corn and soybean contracts, we're close to ten dollars in the beans and almost at four dollars in the corn. That's some pretty good prices to start hedging uh, some of your cash sales for two thousand eighteen. You can replace them with calls at the February lows. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. And have a safe and profitable trading day.